Hello, everyone. This is the 207th episode of The People's Lima. I am your host, Eric Lima. How's everyone doing out there? Well, we're getting right now to it. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve, the final day of 2014. And uh, we're going to head into 2015 um, right around that this week, right around this time period, uh, this week, especially New Year's week, especially um, this past well, last year, 2013 to 2014, we had a humongous snowstorm that um, I st- last time um, I stayed overnight at the mall. Don't have to worry about that this coming week. Uh, in fact, there was some wintry weather coming this Saturday at night, but it's going to change over to to rain. So there you have um, you have that to deal with. So after the first, this tree, this Christmas tree, will be coming down. Um, I'll tell you what, every time I look at it, kind of, you know, you kind of feel sad about missing Christmas, you know. You used to, like I said, when I was a kid, I used to enjoy Christmas. Now, when you're an adult, it's like, mm, you know. So, that's, so, so there, there is that. Uh, last night, the Monday Night Raw, the final Raw of 2014, Edge of Christian hosted it. They were, um, they were doing a little comedy spiel. They're about to do a five-second polls. But they were interrupted by uh, um, Brock Lesnar, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and, Bro- and but then Cena came out. It's like I don't know what is with everybody trying to go Cena. You know, I, I'll, I'll more on that, more on that. It seems like uh, I know everybody's sick of Cena and all that, but it's getting ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, uh, we saw Miz and Miz now defend the tag team titles against the Usos. Usos won it for the second time thanks to a little bit of mind games. Pulled on by Naomi and Jimmy Uso. Daniel Bryan has announced that he is going to come back and going to be entering the Royal Rumble. So we have two people now in the Royal Rumble. Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. I don't know. Roman Reigns um, beat Seth Rollins by disqualification due to the Big Show's interference. Big Show attacked him and uh, put put the announce table on top of Roman Reigns. So we're concerned about um, a visit condition after that. Also, uh, Luke Harper beat Jack Swagger. One on uh, one on one, Nikki Bella. Thanks, uh, thanks a little bit of mind games that she leaped into Tyson Kidd's arms, beating Natalia one on one. And due to the fact um, Dolph Ziggler beat Rusev by disqualification because Rusev got too over aggressive and got and shoved the referee. You don't do that. And uh, Edge and Christian were having so much fun with the kazoos until uh, Damian Sandow and The Miz made a demand for a rematch for the tag team titles. They said they got a match coming up next, but they don't. But not against the Usos or the tag team titles. So who is it going to be? Well, out came the debuting Ascension, Connor and Victor, and they made short work of the former tag team champions. So I think Friday Friday Night and SmackDown, the first SmackDown of 2015, it'd be very interesting to see what Miz has to say about this. He probably was embarrassed, if not anything else. Um, that he was been made full of, uh, fools of. And here's here's the interesting situation. Seth Rollins decided to have a cutting um, to enter the uh, cutting edge peep show as Christian and uh, Edge decided to come together and comp- and make it, call it that. Here's the fun part: so they're inviting Seth Rollins on the show and see and find out what makes him tick. Well, all of a sudden, he, Seth Rollins said to throw this big New Year's bash, but then they attacked Christian, and then all of a sudden, Big Show held Edge's um, head down towards the uh, Money in the Bank briefcase, and because Cena refused to come out. Come out and show up, and Seth Rollins uh, said, "Hey, you don't give me what I want. I'm curb stopping his head." And he goes, "You know what I want? I want the authority back." So Cena goes, "Fine, you get the authority back." And he goes, "Well, you, you, you know, you, you know, you're so stupid. I'm gonna st- curb stop him anyway." Cena tried to stop him. Uh, it was do so, and then now the authority is back, thanks to. Um, Seth Rollins, who's like Linus, all right? And the authority was his security blanket, and he was like a little child, you know? A little child. Um, Rollins was like a little child when the authority was not there. Wah! So was Kane. Wah! Kane, Frankenstein, Big Show is Shrek. You know, now we have to see those two freaks together. And so I'm sure that John Cena is probably very angry and upset, and so is Dolph Ziggler, who fought. Three guys pinned, beat three guys, and Sting probably did all this nothing. I wouldn't be surprised I see Sting again. That's, you know, the authority was so, you know, I don't know why bringing them back so stupid. Six weeks? Give them a six-week vacation. That's what it is for the authority, for them's sake. But I've got a feeling, i got a feeling this this could, I hope they reverse this decision because I don't think 
John John Cena has the power to make a decision, but he should not be forced into making that decision. I'm sorry, you know, let John Cena make a decision. Don't force him. You don't force the decision upon him. And it's stupid. I mean, it's totally stupid. I mean, the authority coming back now. Now we're gonna deal with the authority again. Best for business. Best for business. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You know, you got Ryback. Ryback uh, sp- talking about his past and how he wanted to be a WWE superstar. He got his dream now. He decided, you know, okay, as uh, Ryan Reeves from Tough Enough, uh, from the million, billion, a million dollar Tough Enough Challenge, that didn't work in, in his eyes. And then he decided to go into FCW Skiff Sheffield. That didn't work. He was repackaged as Ryback and, uh, you know, the rest is history. And he says that um, him against Rusev will not just be a, a USA versus Russia thing. It'll be a big guy kicking another big guy's butt. So, and basically, that would be very interesting to see what those two monsters lock up. Will they lock up at the Royal Rumble? Will they lock up at WrestleMania? Who knows for sure. And um, so, I want, I'm curious to see what happens now on Friday Night SmackDown, the first SmackDown of 2015. And two weeks from this Thursday, SmackDown will be moving back to Thursday nights on Sci-Fi. So it'll be very interesting. Tune in for that. Um, let's see. What else is there? What else is there? Oh, boy. Well, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing for New Year's Eve tomorrow when I get out of work. I'm probably going to go straight home, eat some lunch, and watch some Three Stooges. Because I got all the Three Stooges on DVD. Don't need to wait till 8 o'clock and watch them on TV 38 while I got every single episode. On DVD. I don't know what my family has planned. I don't know what's going on. I know it's right around last week. It was a crazy week. I mean, we had the warmest Christmas ever. Near 50, near 60 degrees. Between Christmas Eve and Christmas. Near 60 degrees. I mean, it's un- now, we're back to seasonably cold weather. Um, like I said, Saturday night could be uh, a wintry mix, but it would, be cha- it would change over the rain. So, Probably a moot point to go back there and try to shovel some snow, and then all of a sudden, hey, it's raining. We don't worry about nothing. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens at that time at that point. So uh, who knows? We're right near the coast, so we'll probably get just plain rain. Who knows? You know, a lot of crazy things could happen between now and then. Um, and and if I have to go back to work for for Saturday night, I don't have to worry about things. I got every single single episode of Batman on DVD. I mean, I I got this. Oh, hold up. Hold up. You know? Batman, you know, like, why worry? <laughs> why worry? Duh! I got every episode of, episode of Batman. If I, if I, let's say I go home, go home around seven, seven thirty, you know, I just plop in a DVD. And go, okay, which episode's playing? Let's play that episode. Never know. Don't have to worry about me. TV. Just plop in an episode of Batman. Boom, I'm gone. I'm good. Um, so a prediction is though. Uh, my father heard about this that we, we, we have a lot of cold. Um, we're gonna have plenty of cold, but cold weather. But we're not gonna have a whole lot of snow. So that could be very interesting. I mean, was the last time we didn't have a whole a bunch of snow was the uh, two years ago, uh, the twelfth, uh, two thousand twelve. Excuse me, two thousand twelve. We didn't have a whole lot of snow, and uh, plus it got warm early in March. Uh, I remember was it the sixteenth of March, I mean, the day of my friend's funeral. Um, my friend Mark Supernaut, Mark S. Supernaut's funeral. Um, it was really warm, like up in the eighties, I think it was that day. I forget. So it was crazy. It it, it was a crazy weather day and uh, very interesting too. It was like two thirty in the afternoon, and uh, to a very amazing. So, so this is not my final uh, show for two thousand fourteen. Tomorrow will be obviously, and then I'll do a, a show on New Year's Day after work, and then because. Uh, <clears throat> Because you never know what's, you know, you never know what's going on, and just, uh, you know, what's going to go off of 2015, I don't know for sure, and, uh, and, and you know, I just, uh, you know, enjoy 2014. Well, I can reflect on that. Thing. There's a lot of things that have happened, obviously, that m- many people say, let's get. We're in 2014. We need 2015, man. It's been, it has been a very tough year. Uh, we'll see. The highlights that I have was uh, going to visit um, my uh, future sister-in-law's family at the time. Uh, uh, Danica is now my sister-in-law, and and that was another highlight. Her, and my brother, getting married. Uh, Tyler, uh, 
and then my cousin Bree got married. So, uh, and going to their wedding and um, and reception, which is I think it's an honor to be part of, of those special occasions. And I want to thank them. Um, kind of like the low lights, of course. My grandparents moving to to Maine, which uh, I know a lot of people in my family are not very happy with that, unfortunately. Uh, but it is what it is, you know. Um, they want to live their own lives. That's fine. You know, they, they got my aunt and uncle up there with them, so that's at least they got uh, some family there. And so a lot of things, a lot of things have happened. A lot of changes have been made. Some a lot of changes that many people don't like, and uh, uh, and, and, and you know a lot of us want to see 2014 end. And I don't blame all you guys out there seeing uh, 2014 ending. Uh, I'm one of them because the low, the low lights that I also have, the low light, the other low light, probably the biggest low light is the Wellness City Festival being canceled this year, um, this past summer. Because uh, even though, despite the fact we had the, um, despite the fact we had, we had the um, the carnival, you know, it just it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same because you look surrounding the carnival, there was nothing. Usually. There's flea markets, there's a wrestling ring, music playing, and all that. But, unfor- but unfortunately, uh, despite my efforts to uh, try to bring the festival back here to New Bedford, to Buttonwood Park, to um, to get that uh, change, you know, by uh, my petition on change.org, and uh, I felt like I failed. And I would apologize to everyone who signed the thing. I felt like I let everybody down in that perspective. I know, despite getting it, an interview on WBSM with my good friend Taylor, uh, Taylor J. Cormier, which I want to thank him for that, and getting the the word out on Fun 107, which I was really shocked and I'm honored. This is the premier radio station of the South Coast. So to those out there who signed the petition, you know, I'm sorry, and I, let, I felt like I let you guys down on that department. I feel really bad about it because I, I felt like I could have done more. But, you know, I think... With the with the neighbors surrounding there complaining about everything and a lot of people you know it's like, oh the, the gangs and all that that's what it all started in the first place it was those twenty uh, it was a it was a gang warfare at the Wellness City Festival they decided to pick pick that area at, at back in two thousand six and, and because of, because of their antics the curfew was hit from nine to eight and that declined sales that declined everything and before you know it boom this year gone canceled. And due to that, the Wellness City Fe- Festival is now moved to Fall River, now called the Spindle City Festival. Am I going to attend this year? Um, I'm going to attend this coming year. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, if, they hit, if they decide to bother planning it, and if they decide, well, we're going to have the Wellness City Festival back this year, then that's great. That's fine. Uh, then I appreciate it. But unfortunately, that was the low light. Uh, it was really, really tough. And... Um, and like I said, um, a lot of people are looking forward to seeing 2014, and I'm one of them. But I didn't, never complained about this year sucks, this year is this, this year is that. It's just that there's a lot too many things going on. It's like you know we can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Unfortunately, that's the way you know things uh, the way the cookie has crumbled, and uh, I don't know what to do now and just uh, just wait to 2015 see. Um, Am I going to make a lot of changes? Forgive me if I move my camera a lot. It's very tough to get a position here. I should get one of those sticks, the selfie sticks, I think it's called. Um, but I also like the panorama, uh, do a panoramic view, just have a lot of fun with this, you know, and not just stay in one place. So I can do that too. And uh, I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah. uh, so I don't know uh, what's going on. Another low light was the Red Sox end up in last place again. John Lester leaving the team. To, um, after by a trade and then decided to go with the Cubs, you know David Ross is now with the Cubs too, and like everything is happening all at once. So we're going to see a different Red Sox team in 2015. Deciding at Hanley Ramirez and Pablo Sandoval, aka Panda, and we we traded up for Rick Porcello. Yoenis Yo- Yo- for this is now in Detroit, so Detroit's got a little bit more offense in their lineup. So well, Ruzne Castillo he may end up playing. So we'll we'll see if the Red Sox make any more moves. In the off season, as time uh, permits, will go along. So, so just to uh, let you know, this is uh, the two hundred seventh episode of People's Lima. We're about uh, about wraps it up. Um, this is Eric Lima. Say, be cool, stay solid. Remember, kids, be like Billy. Behave yourself. Have a nice day. Go shop at Kmart and save the Texas Prairie Chicken. All right, and hope everything you're going for hits the bullseye. 
And that's my the meaning of the saying. I've always had fun taking go home lines uh, from other shows and do that. So farewell. Um, I'll see you in. The, we'll see you tomorrow for the, the New Year's Eve edition of the People's Lima. And I'm not gonna do a marathon. Don't worry about it. So uh, be cool. Rock on. God bless. See ya.